So guess what I'm finally doing today? I'm buying a car! How long have I been talking about needing to buy a car, right y'all? So anyways, what I'm doing right now, I found the car, did all the financing over the phone and stuff yesterday, but the car is in Dallas. And y'all know I live in Houston. So my parents went to New Orleans today, so they couldn't drive me down there. I didn't really want to get a rental car to drive out there because it's just more fun. So I've decided to do the Mega Bus. And I've done this before. If you've ever taken a Mega Bus like this, comment down below. Tell me your experiences. Um, it's just like a $31 one way ticket there. Um, easy peasy. It'll drop me off really close to where I need to go. I can Uber to the car dealership and then we'll get the car. Um, so yeah, Mega Bus experience. It's it's whatever. Like they have Wi-Fi on the bus. It's a double decker. The only thing about it is the people look a little janky that are kind of getting on the bus. <laughs> but you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, let's go to Dallas. Let's go get a car. All right, on the bus, and I got my seat. Two seats. I don't want nobody next to me. Little house socks on. Alright, so the ride from Houston to Dallas is about uh, three and a half hours, maybe four, I guess we're on the bus. So it's 10.30 a.m. now, I'm supposed to get there at three. So, I'll see y'all at the car dealership. Alright guys, I've made it to Dallas safely. I'm just waiting for my Uber Lyft to get here to the dealership and then sign that paperwork and hit the road right back to Houston, Texas because I have to be at real estate classes at 8.30 in the morning. So this is just a very quick little trip. I wish I could stay longer and see some friends, but oh well. All right guys, so I've made it to the dealership and I'm just waiting for Derek, my sales guy, to show his little face. And yeah. Go test drive the car. Are y'all excited? I'm excited. Good guys. Here she comes. Isn't she cute? Hey, hi. Hey, hi, hi. I just love her already. Y'all, so this is the inside. The inside. This cute little poppy yuppie thing I was in love with. It has a little interior. Sunroof. I remember when I was at the car show and I was like obsessed with the sunroof so I got a sunroof so when I'm driving home I'll talk to y'all more in detail why I decided to go with this car and not another one. It has decent trunk space. I love her. Her name is Mahogany. <laughs> Do y'all name Malcolm's? in the car and on the way back to Houston it is 6 21 p.m. Um, it's about a with this traffic probably a four-hour drive and I'm gonna stop in Huntsville Texas to go to potato shake so I probably won't make it back home until like 11 who knows but I did want to just kind of quickly tell y'all how my decision making process went so after i went to the car show about two weeks ago you know i was just kind of checking out cars seeing what i really liked um and on the video i said the terrain was the winner because i've really been wanting a terrain since 2010 and then in last year 2018 they changed the body style and all of this so i was just stuck on that all black terrain like the blacked out virgin the one that y'all saw in the video um and that was just really outside of my price range so i narrowed down you know some of the features that i just really wanted in the car sunroof um front seat heaters and what was the other thing that i really really wanted i don't remember but um and i'm really very very particular y'all like i'm super picky 
So I was looking at cars and I was looking at other terrains and other trims, you know, but everything that I wanted was just like $30,000 or more for the terrain. So I was like, okay, you know, let me see what other cars I can find that have all these features that are in my price range. So it was like narrowed down to the Nissan Rogue, um, the SL package, which I guess is the highest package. And I could have found like a 2016, 2017, one of those for under 20 grand. Um, and then one day I ran across this car. This is the Mazda CX-5. Um, and so I looked at all the features that that had and the 2016, 2017s were like in my price range. Um, and then I also was looking at the Jeep Compass. I was looking at that little Range Rover, the Evoque. Like I was looking at a lot of stuff. So I kind of had narrowed it down to about five different cars in my mind. And then I was like, okay, well, let me just go to a car dealership, CarMax, um, and actually look at them in person, sit in them, feel them, drive them to see if I really like it. Cause you know, I don't know, CarMax, it's like a one-stop shop. They sell everything. You know, it's just a big used car dealership and they sell a little bit of everything. And that's really, I've bought all my previous cars there. My family members buy all their cars there. My stepdaddy used to work there for years. So I was very familiar with CarMax. Um, so I went up there. Um, test drove the Jeep Compass. It was really nice, um, but I didn't really like the way that it drove. Then I test drove the um, the Nissan Rogue, and it was really, really nice. Like, perfect, drives just like a Nissan should. You know, it's it was a great car. But then I got into the Mazda, and it just felt really comfortable. You know, like, because I just knew in my mind that I was gonna go with the Nissan Rogue. But once I got in the Mazda, it felt really comfortable. The Nissan was a good size. It's actually a little bit bigger than this and I thought I was gonna go for that because I wanted bigger. You know, I was talking about leg room and all of those things. But you know, it just the Mazda just won my heart. Um, and I did also see that Range Rover Evoque there. But, oh, actually look, it's right here. This car that's getting in front of me now. Oh man, I don't wanna like chase it down traffic's crazy so yeah I saw that and there was actually like a 2016 in my price range of course it was higher in mileage it's a Range Rover um, but my parents and friends are just like you know the maintenance on that car is just a lot and I was like well okay Alexia like let's not let's not end up in a pickle over no maintenance later on so anyways I had my heart set on the CX-5, I made the decision. Um, and I had actually, at that CarMax that day, I had actually had her transfer in one that I saw in San Antonio that I liked color and all of that. And then, but you know, when you're, you're shopping, you're a consumer, you're still looking online for other things. And I found this one online at this dealership here in Grand Prairie, Texas, which is, you know, part of the DFW area. Um, it's a 2018 and it was about four five thousand dollars less than the other 2018s that I had been seeing so I just had to come get it so I had a friend here in Dallas I asked I asked them to come test drive it for me they test drove it said everything was good I got on the phone with them yesterday talked about the financing sent over my application got everything approved put down a deposit to hold the car and made my way here today and now i'm driving back home so yay that's the short version of all the car shopping that i have been doing um so i'm very 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 happy finally back in my own i know i told you i was supposed to do a video on all of the ubering and all of that stuff which i will do um but the whole rental car thing that hire car thing that i have been doing um really pushed me to go just buy my own car because i just had some experiences which I'll probably sit down and tell y'all about in a chit chat video or something. But anyways, I should not be driving and recording, especially I don't have my little stabilizer thing. So this is going to be the end of this video. Actually, no, I'm going to go to Potato Shack and I'll show y'all my potato. See y'all at Potato Shack. So y'all, it feels so weird. Hold on. It feels so weird coming to Potato Shack. So Potato Shack is in Huntsville, Texas. I went to college in Huntsville, Texas. Sam Houston State University. Eat them up, cats. <laughs> um, 
but everything is so different like potato shack is in a whole different like area and everybody used to go to potato shack on fridays because they would have half off potatoes. You know, now they have a whole bar and a patio and like it literally used to just be a shack. Nashville is just, it used to be like a little town and all it had was a Walmart and a water burger and we would just make the best of it. Now it has everything, Taco Cabana, Target Academy. Okay, so I have another hour until I get home, but mahogany is thirsty. So at this car dealership I went to, they are, they do what they can to keep the prices as cheap as possible. So one thing that they don't do is fill up the gas tanks. So when I got her, she was like a little above half. So I was dri driven about 200 miles. And so now she's on E. But just look at how pretty she is. Well, look at how pretty she is. Aw, mama's baby. Lexi's baby. I wonder how much it's gonna to take to fill her up. Gas is $1.95. And we're going. Alright, so this little day trip has been fun, but I'm sleepy. $24.26 for 12.38 gallons. So now I know. That ain't too bad. And like always guys, thank you all for tagging along with me on another video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm so happy with Mahogany. My heart is just happy, 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 overjoyed. So we have Half checked. Mile. Merge on to I-45 South. So now I can say that I have checked one thing off of my vision board for this year. On to the next goals. Until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye!